Yo, we're back with another video, brothers. And you see, I have this tensioner in my hand. We're going to be talking about the top three reasons why a 4.6 double overhead cam passenger car non performance cast crank engine is not durable than a 4.6 two valve iron block engine. Now, what prompt me to make this video? Here's why I will never buy a Marauder or Mach 1 non terminator 4.6 liter four valve ever again in my life. We are at the junkyard, obviously you see it. Now we have an aviator that's here. Civilian engine in a common passenger car. And we're not speaking about performance or durability with performance parts. We're talking about stock, crank, stock this, stock that. A lot of times people don't take care of these cars. That's why they end up in the junkyard. So number one is going to be human error. Maybe they don't put oil. Maybe they didn't listen to the noises and they didn't fix it. So you just gotta beware when you're buying an engine from the junkyard. And this leads up to the 4.6 double over cam. Number two issue, which will be coolant flow. We all know that this side of the head, passenger side is all good. Flow sweet, nice. Then on this side right here, it stops between the two cylinders in the back. Now, I installed the coolant mod, but guess what, man? The damage is already done. You can see the coolant mod there. It ain't nothing that I can do about that until I take the head off and check the cylinders and everything like that. If you guys have that kind of issue with your 4.6 double over a cam engine, there's a couple of things that's going to happen. A smorgasbord of things. Just think about it. You have low compression on that side, which later on will cause a misfire. And with a misfire, it's going to cause detonation. That's detonation because there's no compression in the cylinder and it's just dumping gas. And then one day, it's going to ignite Bang! And guess what? When you're on the highway like Mr. Random, this side of the engine is going to go kaput. One of the pistons are going to go. Still starts, but it's going to run real crappy and it's going to smoke. And number three is going to be timing chain components. Basically, the plastic timing chain tensioner and your timing chain guide. This is all typical with the 4.6 double overhead cams. And with the plastic guides and some of them, some of them have iron ones, but even if they have iron ones, if the chain starts to slap, it's just gonna sit there and crack that plastic over time. And then along with it, the oil pump is definitely gonna go. The aluminum block is not so great either. Now we're not talking about horsepower, we're just talking about durability. And durability means that it takes less maintenance to keep this thing going, if you understand what I'm saying. Think about it, if it overheats, it's aluminum. Things are going to warp and distort. And remember on cold starts with aluminum with a cast crank, the tolerances on the crank are going to be close. When it warms up, it's gonna heat up and it's going to be a little bit more of a gap on the clearances. Now, with an iron block, guess what? Cold or hot, it's going to be somewhere around the same. So with that said, man, as far as everyday use in your passenger car, the iron block is best suited for the idiots who don't really check on their cars that much. Now, behind the scenes, man, what we're doing now is we're going to be pulling down this 5.4 two valve engine it's a good engine. We're going to check out the bearings and everything along with it. So let's get to it. You guys can stay along with me and check this out.
and this is what it looks like right out the box there's no brake clean because you would have seen the brake clean marks there's no brake clean marks or nothing that's how it looked the engine was immaculate good to go i can't really say it's better but i mean let's face it that block is more forgiving than an aluminum block and you got the tensioners here plastic now it had these in here you can kind of get um the plastic pieces here and put them back in on this one i can do it now this one here is a little bit more shabby definitely need a new oil pump what we're going to do is we're going to speed this up we're going to break down the other engine behind the scenes and then we're just going to have an exploded parts on the ground and we're just going to look at the bearings iron block man man look at this man see this look at that crank bearings looking pretty daggone good we have these over here they're looking good too i think it was one that looks a little bit bad that one there got a little bit on the back end uh this one here is nice that one has a little bit on the back end and then this probably is the worst one right there you can kind of see it there as far as the pistons the pistons are typical ain't nothing really wrong with them no cracks no bends no nothing you know what i mean as far as the bearings like this here let's see if i can wipe this thing up here see what it looked like yo bearing still has some coating on it man it's not bad Ninety-eight thousand miles nah bad at all looks like it's been changed that's oil pump looks pretty new could be stock but it looks new man um these look new too uh you know i hate to throw away those the crank is still good i ain't gonna throw away this but what the heck am i using for right don't know um but all in all man like the heads are like the best part of the whole engine normally one side is always cleaner than the other but this looks identical on both sides i don't know i don't know what they did with this but man i'm gonna keep these heads here for what i don't know but i'm gonna keep them and everything like that so you know broke down the engine man i still believe that you know um the iron block is just a little bit more superior on daily use human error human neglect it'll withstand that and i just stand by that that's just my belief many of you guys have some other issues and everything like that any engine will run good if you take care of it but we're just talking about pure neglect in everyday use and soccer moms just rolling and doing what they're doing cranking up the motor and going this over time can't take it the iron block yes can take it all day long so on the next video man or next couple of videos man we're going to be speaking about engines and what we're planning to do now i'm very sorry about how this channel is going uh i found out a few things by doing this over the years man if you're doing like really car builds and everything i should have all the parts stacked already but i could never do that because i'm searching for good pricing i don't have the money to pour into something plus i like the search you know what i mean i like the search and looking for deals and just mix matching parts and making things work just like this thing here right this is something that i made you know they have this you know what i mean but i used um some single cam stuff like this here it's for the single cam like if you go over here you will lock it down and hold the single cam boom that's how you would do it so these things were so cheap i had um bought two of them and then put two over there lock it you know what i mean and make one for the other side also so thank you guys for watching this episode of build something tv man hope you guys were enlightened like i said man the videos are slow i painted myself in the corner kind of like but when you're doing a budget build you're looking for stuff you know what i mean and everyday life and situations and everything the best way to deal with it and if you guys are making videos like this videotape behind the scenes get all the parts gather it archive it put them in your computer or whatever hold them until you got like 10 videos 30 videos and then just let them go now you'll be 30 videos ahead of the game and you'll be looking like you're looking consistent keep all your pictures on your social media to yourself to a point and then start post them out one by one one by one and that's basically how i should have done it um, but I didn't have anybody at the time to kind of tell me how to do this thing. I was just more so um, Just excited to just do it man, and you know, and I just you know took a chance 
Um, but again, like I said, man, the cranks are good. Everything is good, man. All these parts, um, some of this stuff I'm just going to throw away. Um, but all the timing components, the head, the crank, I'm going to keep. So we'll see you guys on the next one, man. And thank you so much for the support, man. And thank you for bearing with me on the video, even if you fast forward it. Thank you, bro. Thank you. And uh, see you guys on the next one, man. All right. Later.